How could a tiny squirrel wreak so much havoc? Well, it's relatively simple. Mr. Bushtail, in the course of running up and down and jumping from branch to branch on this tree, just happens to get on this power line. Well, that wouldn't knock the power out, but wait, the plot thickens. The squirrel then runs the length of the power line and gets close enough to another power line, creating an electrical arc. And zap! You get instant fried squirrel, burned out equipment, and a power failure. Paul Raines, the superintendent of the Utilities Commission, said the squirrels do quite a bit of damage. Paul, how much damage was done by the squirrels when they got into this substation? Approximately $10,000 to this substation. It is repairable damage, but it's quite expensive. What do you think makes them want to come into the substation itself? Is it for heat or something like that? What do you think it is? We don't think it's heat. Our problems occur in the summer. We feel like they're looking for food. Well, based on a report seen on NBC, the power company has come up with a plan of scaring the squirrels away from the substation. Fake owls. The eyes are probably the only thing real about the creature. The owl and the squirrel are bitter enemies, and as a result of the owl being in the station, we're hopeful that it'll keep the squirrels out of the stations. How many owls have you ordered from the company? 24. A company in South Dakota makes the fake owls. To test them out, we decided to find a squirrel. Twas the middle of winter in Kentucky's Whitley and Laurel. Not a creature was stirring, not even a squirrel. So we'll just have to wait until spring to see if the watch dogs, or watch owls, if you will, really fool squirrels. Just how beneficial are the owls going to be? Well, we won't know until spring. But it's hoped the owls will be the answer to a rather squirrely problem. Calvin Sneed, Eyewitness News, in Corbin, Kentucky.